Hey kids, do you want to enhance your English writing and speaking skills? You need to build up your vocabulary. So here we go into the beautiful world of words. Enhance your vocabulary power. There may be words which have same sound but different meanings. Learn by heart the following words and use them correctly while writing or speaking English. Accept. I accept your offer. Accept. All except Nikki were present. Access. I have no access to the principal. Excess. Excess of anything is bad. Advice. He did not listen to my advice. Advice. He advised me to work hard. Adapt. One should adapt oneself to circumstances. Adopt. She adopted an orphan child. Break. My cycle has no break. Break. Don't break my doll. Birth. This is my birth certificate. Birth. I've got my birth reserved. Blue. The sky is blue. Blue. He blew the whistle. Cloth. I want to buy a piece of cloth. Clothes. Put on your clothes. Cast. The director of the play chose his caste well. Caste. I am Hindu by caste. Check. He gave me a check. Check. Check your answer. Compliment. Pay my best compliments to your parents. Compliment. Love is the compliment of justice. Confident. He is confident of his success. Confident. Mike is my confident. Dear. Bobby is dear to me. Dear. I saw many deer in zoo. Dairy. We buy milk from milk dairy. Diary. It is my school diary. Difference. Difference of opinions do not mean that we should quarrel with each other. Deference. I have great deference for my teacher. Further. Singapore is further from Malaysia. Further. They discuss the matters further. Fair. She is fair lady. Fair. I have paid the fare. Floor. Do not spit on the floor. Flour. Bread is made of flour. Gate. Shut the gate. Gate. She has a charming gate. House. There is nobody in the house. Home. She went home. Hole. A snake lives in this hole. Hole. He read the whole novel. Lesson. You should lesser your burden. Lesson. The teacher taught him a new lesson. Marry. He was going to marry his best friend's sister. Mary. Let us make Mary. No. I have no friends. No. I know your brother. Our. Our books are on the table. Our. An hour has 60 minutes. Peace. He is a man of peace. Peace. 
गिव मी अ पीस ऑफ पेपर पेन शी वॉज क्राइंग इन पेन पेन ही ब्रोक द विंडो पेन Quiet. Keep quiet. Quiet. I'm quite well. Right. Your answer is right. Write down your suggestions. Sale. This house is for sale. Sale. We will sail to Singapore. See, we see with our eyes. See, the river falls into the sea. Stationery. The sun is stationery. Stationery. My brother deals in stationery. Let us now learn about active and passive voices. Active and passive voice. The verb that expresses the action done by the subject is said to be in the active voice. The verb that expresses what is done to the subject is said to be in passive voice. A transitive verb verb that has object has two voices active voice and passive voice in the previous chapter the tenses we used the sentences with active voice or verb look at the following sentences peter reads a book a book is read by peter The shopkeeper is selling apples. Apples are being sold by the shopkeeper. Mickey has plucked flowers. Flowers have been plucked by Mickey. We won the match. The match was won by us. She will arrange a flower show. Flower show will be arranged by her. Note that in the first sentence of each frame, the subject is the doer of the action. The verb in these sentences describes the action performed by the subject. The form of verb in these sentences is called active voice. In the second sentence of each frame, the subject is the receiver of the action, and verb describes what the subject does. 
the form of verb in these sentences is called passive voice. Points to remember. The subject is replaced by the object and the object takes the place of subject. Use third form of verb, that is the past participle. Use by after the past participle. Passive voice is formed only of transitive verbs, verbs that has object. Intransitive verb does not form passive voice. Interrogative sentences remain interrogative with passive voice. The following words pronounce are changed as under I into me, we into us. They into them, he into him, and she into her. The tenses in passive voice. Present tense, simple present tense, active voice, subject plus first form of verb plus object. Passive voice, subject, that is, the objects will become subject, plus is, or am or are plus past participle plus by plus object look at the following sentences peter helps me i am helped by peter does not pluck flowers. Flowers are not plucked by him. They do not play the game. The game is not played by them. Do I fly a kite? Is a kite flown by me? Does she cook the food? Is the food cooked by her? Present continuous tense, active voice, subject plus is or am or are plus first form of verb plus ing plus object. Passive voice, subject plus is or am or are plus being plus third form of verb past participle plus by plus object. Active voice. I am reading a book. Passive voice. A book is being read by me. Active voice. We are not watching the film. Passive voice. The film is not being watched by us. They are making dolls. Dolls are being made by them. Is the postman delivering the post? Is the post being delivered by the postman? Are we crossing the bridge? Is the bridge being crossed by us? Present perfect tense. Active voice, subject, plus has or have, plus third form of verb, past participle, plus object. Passive voice, subject plus has been or have been plus third form of verb that is the past participle plus by plus object. Look at the following sentences. He has bought a new car. A new car has been bought by him. She has not kicked the ball. The ball has not been kicked by her. Has the teacher punished the boys? Have the boys been punished by the teacher?
Have I not lost my pen? Has my pen not been lost? Have you received the transfer orders? Have the transfer orders been received by you? No, there is no passive voice in present perfect continuous tense. Kids, do you want to learn how to write letters to your friends and invite them to your birthday party? Carry on and learn how to write letters. While writing personal letters, you need to be informal. Just take care of a few things. In writing official or business letters, you need to be formal, accurate and precise. Social letters are also important. Just look into some of them. Letter writing. Letters can be categorized under three heads. Personal letters or private letters, official and business letters, social letters. There are five parts of a letter. The heading, the salutation or greeting, the body of the letter, the subscription, the signature. The heading, writer's full address at the top left hand corner and the date is written under it. Example, B125 Model Street, Phase 1, Chicago 52, 30th May 2004. The Salutation or Greeting Salutation or greeting is written to the person to whom the letter is addressed. Its wordings depend on the degree of intimacy with the person. Examples, Personal Letters to relations, respected father, respected mother, my dear brother, my dear uncle, etc. If the relative is younger to you, write his or her name. The first letter of the relative is written in capital letter. To friends, my dear Alec, dear Mike. Since your friend is very close to you, never use dear friend or my dear friends. Official letters. Examples. Sir, Madam. Use of dear has no special significance in official letters. The body of the letter. It is that part of the letter which gives the contents or message to the persons to whom the letter is addressed. It should be divided into suitable paragraphs and must express in clear and simple language. 
the letters should begin in certain prescribed form. Examples: Personal letters I am very happy or sad to learn or inform. Thank you very much for your kind letter. With great pleasure, I inform you that it's long time since I heard from you. Let me apology for the delay in replying your letter. Official letters. Official letters should be concluded appropriately with a request. This is to inform you that I want to bring to your kind notice that with reference to your letter. A letter should not end abruptly. Here are a few ways in which you may conclude the letter. Personal letter. Please convey my regards to with warm and affectionate regards. With love. Wishing you many happy returns of the day. Wishing you the best of luck. Official letters. Official letters should be concluded appropriately with a request that the words would be done. The subscription. This is written below the body of the letter. The subscription must correspond to salutation. To a friend. Yours sincerely. Your sincere friend. To a relation. Yours affectionately. Your affectionate brother. Your affectionate son, your affectionate daughter, your affectionate sister, etc. In a business or official letter, yours faithfully, yours truly. To the principal or teacher, yours obediently. Begin first word of the subscription with a capital letter. Don't use apostrophe for yours. Put a comma after the subscription. Signature. Put your signature or name with designation in business and official letters. Below the subscription, ensure the complete address on the envelope before posting the letter. Write down a letter to your uncle, wishing him a happy birthday. AB 211, Upper Circle New Jersey 88, 24th September 2004 My dear uncle, I have just remembered that your birthday falls on Saturday, Saturday and so I am sending you a birthday greeting. Kindly accept my heartfelt best wishes for your health and peaceful life. Your principles have always inspired me for helping the needy and the poor. You have shown us the path of progress and prosperity through hard work. I am sending you a book and I am sure you will like it. With respect and regards, your loving nephew, Peter. Write a letter to a shopkeeper for replacement of defective TV set. To the authorized agent, New Electronics, Moscow. Sir, I purchased a BPL TV set from your shop three months back. The picture is not sharp and is flickering. The TV is under guarantee, period. You are requested to arrange for its replacement at the earliest. Waiting for the response, yours faithfully, Mike.
kids, let us learn about paragraph writing now. And let us start with a small paragraph. Paragraph writing. A paragraph is a short piece of composition. A topic or a main idea is developed with relevant facts and details. One sentence should lead into another in a sequence and related facts. The language should be clear and easy to understand. My country. India is my country. It is a big country. It has high mountains, seas, rivers and fertile plains. There are large and dense forests. There is a big desert called the Thar Desert in Rajasthan. It has varied climates. India is an agricultural country. After independence in August 1947, it has made great progress. Many dams have been made. There are big trees. Trade has grown. It is the largest democracy in the world. The people are peace-loving. A visit to a trade fair. Last Sunday, I went to see a trade fair with my friends. It was held at the International Trade Fair Ground. The trade fair authority organized it. There was a large crowd. Many states of India and other countries had set up their pavilions. Varieties of articles were displayed. There was a pavilion of electronic goods. There was another pavilion of toys where there was a large gathering of children having fun and enjoying the electronics games. People were enjoying joy rides on mini train. There was a great rush at the stalls selling eatables. We had great fun and spent happy time. Hey kids, I'm not your grandmother, but I'm going to tell you some stories and I'm sure you would enjoy these. The Story of Science Part 1 There was a time when there were no postal systems. The messages were sent through messengers. Argun Khan, the King of Persia. wanted to marry a Chinese princess. He sent messengers who reached China after two years. The Khan of China sent a beautiful young princess for marrying Argun Khan. Meanwhile, Argun Khan died in Persia. The news of his death took years to reach China. But the princess had already left for Persia. There was a long caravan of more than 2,000 people travelling with the princess. The princess reached Persia after more than two years and heard the news of Argun Khan's death. The princess married the son of Argun Khan, who was the king then. Today, news travels much faster than a jet plane. We may switch on the radio or television and listen to the news. news and happenings all over the world. This big difference is the result of science. 
Science has an important role in our daily lives. From early morning when we rise till the night, we come across inventions and discoveries of science. The alarm clock, the newspaper, the tea, and the breakfast we take. The fountain pen we write with. The vehicles we use. And many other things of daily use are the gifts of science. The scientists have given us the electricity, the steam engine and many other machines for making our life comfortable. The journey of progress started with the discovery of fire, invention of wheel, discovery of agriculture, The man formed villages and cities and became social. Greece and India discovered mathematics which brought important changes in the knowledge of man. We will discuss the period beginning from the 16th century when science grew very fast. During this period, the laws of nature and its other secrets were discovered. Isaac Newton gave us the law of gravity, which tells us the reason why an apple falls on the earth. He gave us many other laws of nature and also did many important works in mathematics. He is rightly called the father of modern science. Newton lived in the 17th century. In the 18th century, many new machines were invented and started production of various goods like cloth, car, etc. People operated these machines with their hands. James Watt invented steam engine. The people started using this invention in running motor cars, buses, rail engines and many other machines in big factories. The machines produced goods in large quantities in less time and quality had improved too. The manual laborers could not compete with the machines and soon became surplus. As a result, many people lost their work and started working in the big factories, which were owned by few rich people. Thus, in 18th century, science brought a revolution of change in man's life. Discovery of agriculture in the early times brought about great changes and formed villages and cities. During the 16th to 18th century, scientists invented lots of useful machines which changed our way of life.
the story of science part 2 we have learned that age of science had begun in the 17th and 18th centuries when james watt invented steam engine sir isaac newton invented various laws of mathematics All these inventions and discoveries had changed our way of life. The age of science in the 19th century gave us many more inventions and discoveries which brought great changes in the world. We will discuss some of the important ones. Michael Faraday discovered electricity. Morse invented telegraphy. Edison gave us electric bulb. Marconi invented wireless telegraphy. Which led to the invention of radio. In the 19th century, trains, motor cars and ships were made and the means of travel became faster. In 1969, two astronauts, Armstrong and Collins, traveled for three days in space and landed on the moon. A businessman had a holiday trip in the space station for a week. Atomic power is an important discovery of the 20th century. It is used to run factories, run big ships and in producing atomic energy. But the irony is that America used atomic bombs in World War II against Japan. Many countries have made atomic weapons and missiles. It means that science is now used against the nature, which could be disastrous. We have built dams, power stations, atomic submarines and long-range missiles too.